Hey Hattiesburg, it's Toby Barker. I want to take a minute to briefly discuss an issue that's likely been top of mind for many of you over the last several days, and that's COVID-19, now known as the coronavirus. For the last several weeks, this virus has dominated headlines and social media, and for a long time, it was in places far away from us. But over the last several days, we've seen cases register in places very close to home, Memphis, New Orleans, the Florida Panhandle. And it's only a matter of time before it comes to our state and to our community. With that said, we want to make sure that you have accurate information, both from our health department and our medical community. But the truth is this. This will likely pose a significant challenge for our community. People may get sick, and this has the potential to significantly disrupt our everyday lives for the next several months and beyond. On Monday, we convened a group of stakeholders that included educational, health care, emergency management, and nursing homes to talk about this issue and what our plans will be going forward. With that said, there are a few things that you can do to protect yourself and your family. First, if you feel you have symptoms, which are fever, cough, shortness of breath, reach out to your primary care physician first. If you don't have a primary care physician, reach out to an immediate care clinic. We've been assured there are protocols that can help steer you in the right direction. And Forest General and Merritt Health Wesley are keeping up with best practices to make sure that they're doing all they can to keep our community and our most vulnerable populations safe. Two, if you don't feel well, stay home. A big part of slowing the spread of this and not having an adverse effect on the elderly and those with immune deficiencies is keeping them from sharing spaces with people who don't feel well. Three, wash your hands and wash them again. As simple as it sounds, taking at least 20 seconds to wash your hands frequently throughout the day can go a long way. Four, because there is a respiratory element to this, if you're over the age of 50, or if you have some kind of ongoing chronic illness, you may want to consider avoiding large spaces and large crowds. I'm not here to tell you what that means for you, but you may want to keep it in mind as you're making your day-to-day -day plans. And finally, don't panic. While the immediate inclination might be to go out and buy masks and water and toilet paper, it doesn't help. In fact, in many cases, it hurts. In addition to this video, we are now launching a web page that provides resources from the CDC, the health department, and our medical community in regards to coronavirus at HattiesburgMS.com. While there's still a lot that's not known about this virus, like how it spreads and how, what are the testing protocols going to be going forward, we want to make sure that we're giving you as accurate information as possible so that you can make good decisions, smart decisions, to keep yourself and your family healthy and safe.